this character, you know, more than what's happening in my personal life, how I should feel to make that much I mean, there is a certain expectation, I like, do a film for beauty, I have to respect the expectation that the audience comes to the theatre with. So having experienced this uh, a lot during the lockdown, as an actor, I be here and expose this as well and get the exposure. I mean, the kind of exposure these platforms give you. Uh, Prime Video, they're releasing two thousand in one countries. I mean, people from all across the world can watch the world if they connect with it. And that's what I crave for. You know, you said it in that uh, sort of experimenting with OVD so like you putting your alter ego out yeah um, is, is it because sometimes the film mode can be restricted because there is a sort of fan base that you do have to cater to there is a sort of audience expectation as you rightly said that you do have to cater to can that be restricted no it's not restricted when I do a film for YouTube I have to respect the expectation that the audience comes to the theater with and I can cater to that I enjoy that kind of the cinema as well. I love commercials. Grown up with commercials. Uh, with uh, that kind of a structure is what I call it. Uh, but having said that, as an actor also, you know, uh, there, there is so much more I want to explore. Uh, so, yeah, it's not restrictive in any way. I think we just need to understand what uh, the audience wants uh, and uh, cater to that. Genre. Uh, that's a genre I really love watching. 
sort of placed me back in time when you were growing up and you would read about, say, your family in the newspapers, interviews, and watch their interviews on television. As a kid, was that a strange experience? I mean, what, what, I mean, I can't imagine reading about my family in the paper or watching them on screen. But of course, you sure would have. Uh, what is that like? So for me, it's normal. We grew up, you know, that was a very normal happening in, yeah. in, in our house. Someone or the other was written about or their film, someone or the other's film was coming. Or coming. So they were always in the paper. So it was, for me, it was not normal if uh, they were missing or, you know, they were not being covered. So it's, it's a very normal scenario for us. They were being really ashamed. Do you remember the time that you like said, oh, my, my family is in my pocket. Do you, you realize that? Uh, I think as a kid, I didn't realize it much. But, you know, when you start uh, growing up in school and then they start referring you to as so-and-so's son, uh, so-and-so's grandson. So, that's when it sort of hit me saying, okay, there is something <laughs> out of the ordinary. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, while watching the show, I read it also. And I said, it's been more than a decade. Uh, yeah, so it's been 14 years. Right, it's close to 14 years. Yeah. Uh, when you began your journey, though, uh, because you come from such a rich film heritage family, was it never a burden that you felt on your shoulders that will I be able to live up to the name that means I still feel it today and I think I will never feel it because of course I've been born into this family that has excelled in this excellence in life for so many years through the generation so yeah there is a huge responsibility at the same time I'm very fortunate very very fortunate to have this opportunity so I would really like to look at it as it gives me and do my best to be and hopefully someday I can live up to at least half a moment. I'm sure you are already living. But you know, to ask questions, um, is, is it also because, I mean, because you come from a rich family, a rich family, family heritage, that that dictates the choices that you make now, like in terms of your career, that because of the heritage that's there, you have to be mindful of what you, the, the projects that, that you're choosing. Yeah, absolutely. I would not Definitely, there is a certain expectation and a certain kind of cinema they expect to see, see us in uh, uh, certain larger than life movies, certain commercial elements that they do expect from our movies, which I love, which, uh, which I absolutely love watching because that is pure entertainment. If you can come to the theater, you'll be entertained and you forget the outside world for them. That is there, and I look at it as a challenge. But does it really help you then in that sense? Not because it really doesn't have the box of expression, it really is taken care of. It's a year performance of yes. your yes. yes. I'm sure that, that that's going to be It is, it is. I can be a proactive, just focus on the craft of acting. Like you said, the other equations are not on your head. With film, it is, you know, opening day numbers, how much is the quality yeah. of the school year. I have just come to set me and I worry about how the releases will be, when the releases will be, and yeah. all that. So it is, it is, it is definitely, an, it's an amazing place for an actor to be if they just want to explore their craft, uh, explore possibilities that will help them. Yeah. Okay, this one opens where I think your character, another character saying that journalism is a huge responsibility, and it's a very powerful position. Does it rattle their naga when sometimes there is an inclusive reporting about your personal life? Does that make you feel like, no, this is the life? I mean, it's, I, I really don't bother about it, to be honest. But people close to me will uh, sort of uh, know the truth. And apart from that, uh, I would be known for my work as an actor, you know, more than what's happening in my personal life. I try to just keep focusing on my craft, let the movies do the talking yeah. more than anything else. At the end of the day, if whatever happens, uh, you know, putting that aside, if, if my movie 